So today we're going to be talking about a specimen of YouTube, someone that I actually still can't tell whether they're just a troll or mentally insane. Now a lot of you are probably going to point out to me, Listen Pyrocynical, you cannot say someone is mentally insane, yes? You are breaking the new YouTube community guidelines, yes? You get your channel shut down, shut, gone for a shut down. But listen to me kids, Pyrocynical, no, no, Pyrocynical MD. That's right, I'm a doctor now, here's my certificate. Pyrocynical MD is gonna diagnose, explain, and show each of you how this individual is indeed mentally insane. Now the strongest point I have at the moment is his singing or vocals. Whenever this individual opens his horrible greasy mouth and emits some kind of pterodactyl screech, the noise he makes is incredibly similar to a bloated pig drowning in a well. And on top of that, he's now reached the point where he's welcoming death. An annotation on his video saying, smash that dislike button, smiley face. So clearly, this is an individual that has gone insane. He has lost all hope. And if those two shocking pieces of evidence weren't enough, he also left a comment saying, after this video started getting so much hate, I started acting as if the whole thing was satire or a joke. However, it was not. Although we were having fun when making it, this video was meant T be 100% serious. 100% serious. 100% serious. Another thing known about this individual is that he's extremely edgy. This is possibly a result of extreme teen angst and staying up until 3 o'clock in the morning listening to Linkin Park. The guy's actually gone as far as mocking those suicide depression videos. You know when the people don't speak and they just have sad music, usually a black and white filter to convey how sad the situation is. Yeah, he's, he's done that as well. You see, you've done two things wrong there, Unicorn. Allow me to explain. Firstly, you've mocked a suicide depression video. Now, sometimes you can actually mock this or parody it, but you've got to pull it off very well and try not to act insensitive, something which you've completely failed to do. And secondly, not only were you incredibly insensitive, the payoff of the joke was just complete utter shit. It, just, it, it wasn't funny at all. I, I'm sorry, it just wasn't. So not only have you put yourself in the firing line by making a suicide and depression joke, you also had a really shitty payoff, so it, it really wasn't worth it. It's like playing Payday 2 and then all your faggot mates leave because their mum called them down for spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. See, with channels like this, what they tend to do is get a lot of hype, attempt to be edgy, unique and cool, but it really just falls flat on their face and it turns out to be really cringy and awkward. I mean, the best way to compare this is you got a really cringy kid in class. He boasts to everyone saying how he's going to recreate Mufasa dying from the Lion King in the Unity engine and it just turns out like this. Scar! Brother! Help me! That's pretty much the perfect analogy. Hilarious from how poorly made it was. Now the main reason I made this video is because they uploaded a music video. This music video is just, it's godlike. It's absolutely godlike. It combines every single element of the planet. Earth, wind, fire, cringe.
What's perfect about this intro is, you can't tell whether it's an edgy teen music video or an introduction to a zombie nerf gun battle. See, the thing is as well, the intro in that, it actually had some semi-decent production value to it, props to whoever edited that in post. The problem is with the video, the second anyone opens their mouth, it's just, it's a pterodactyl screech. It's a pterodactyl screech of absolute pain. It sounds like one of the fucking monsters from Silent Hill. You know, I love these visuals you're adding in, you know, the constant blackouts, the blur, the black and white. It's almost like I'm slowly losing my sight. Am I losing my sight? I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to get my eyes tested after watching this video because either I'm losing my sight or this video is causing me to lose my sight. Either way, I'm suing your ass. really necessary to keep in the video just taking your mate snap back off was, th was that necessary like did that add any substance to the video usually people in the background they're supposed to be doing cool stuff you know like backing vocals or doing some gay little dance or fucking planking I, I don't know whatever you do but something interesting taking your mate snap back off during the middle of a video is not cool it's not edgy it's just really out of place when it comes to Facebook, my I don't know who this is, and this is probably going to be the first and last time I compliment someone wearing a dope snapback. But I love this guy. He's just really in his zone in this video. He's really just overacting and acting really cringy and awkward, but I love it. I love it. Everyone else is in the background, you know, they're, they're giving it some level of effort. But this guy, this guy here, he's going all in. He knows this video is going to appear on some kind of cringe compilation, and he's giving it all he got. <laughs> Are you sure you want to be insulting the girl with a baseball bat? I I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that she'll be able to knock your brains out with that baseball bat and you're just sitting there throwing quite vulgar language at her, but she's the one with the baseball bat and you're the one with the beanie and the vulgar words. Who's gonna win? C comment down below. No, don't, don't comment down below. Another crucial thing about making music, right, with vocals, you need to be able to understand what the individual is saying. You know, if they've got some really dramatic or inspiring lyrics, you're gonna want the listener to be able to fucking listen to it, right? That just sounded like a 12 year old wearing a Darth Vader voice changer mask. Literally couldn't understand anything. Total gibberish. And after that pterodactyl screech, the video fortunately ends. Now this is the point where I waste your time for another 30 seconds with an outro in hopes the video is 10 minutes long so I can place more ads in it, but I have to make a very important announcement. Do not flame this individual's channel. Do not go on his channel and flame it. Instead, show him love, like the video, subscribe. We need to grow him into a god of YouTube. I want to see him all over my recommended pages, all over my feed, everywhere with this amazing pterodactyl screech and who knows if you become successful enough the kid who got his snapback taken off might do a solo himself
Oh, and another thing as well. Can you all shut up about the 1 million subscribers, okay? It's coming. It's taking a while to make. There's... It's going to be quite a lengthy video. It's going to be a good video as well. Will the face reveal be in it? Pro probably, okay? Probably. It's, it's taken a while to make, but it should be out soon. How long is soon? I don't fucking know. Shut up.